mu karere ka Musanze ni mu ntara ya Majyaruguru ahubatse ishuri rikuru rya gisirikare inyakinama ko hagiye kubera umuhango wo gusoza amasomo mu byiciro bitandukanye eka twa hikaze nshuti bakunzi nkuko twatangiye tubibabwira ko mu karere ka Musanze ni mu ntara ya Majyaruguru ahubatse ishuri rikuru rya gisirikare inyakinama ko hagiye kubera umuhango wo gusoza amasomo mu byiciro bitandukanye haba muri kaminuza y'u Rwanda hashoje abasaga mirongo itatu abandi bakajya mu byiciro bitandukanye rero nshuti bakunzi mwe mudukurikira turabaha umwanya wo gukurikira ibi biganiro kugira ngo mubashe kumva uko abasirikare bahembwe uko bakiriwe imbwirwa ruhame ziri hano ariko turabararikira no kuza gukurikira umwe mu badamu ni colonel Lydia ni umwe mu bantu binjiye mu gisirikare cyari kinkotanyi aper uyu munsi arakorera RDF no musirikare umaze imyaka myinshi muri iki gisirikare bavuga ngo angana na RDF cyangwa se angana n'igisirikare cy'inkotanyi cyakomeje kikaba RDF nyuma yo kubohora igihugu bagahagarika na genocide yakorewe abatutsi abantu benshi bamuzi mu mafoto ari kumwe na nyakubaho president Paul Kagame icyo gihe yari umuyobozi w'ingabo za APR aziyoboye Lydia nawe twagiranye ikiganiro ndabararikira rero kuzakurikira iki kiganiro colonel akaba umubyeyi akaba umugore ariko hari jambo ryiza ntekereza ko abagore mwese mukwiye kumva kugira ngo abari colonel abu mugore abu mubijeji kanda we koroneri uri mumutuke wabarinda umukuru uji hugu muzawi kurikira mchigano cha chujita tulawara riki ndaba shimie mkuriki ruko gaunda za ajenze on arrival of the procession please raise for the national flags
guest of honor, sir. You may be seated. The Honorable Minister of Defense of the Republic of Rwanda and our guest of honor, Honorable Ministers here present, the Chief of Defense, Rwanda Defense Force, the Governor, Northern Province, the Commissioner General, Rwanda Correctional Services, the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Rwanda National Police, the Vice Chancellor, University of Rwanda, Excellence Ambassadors, the Service Chiefs, the Deputy Secretary General, National Intelligence and Security Services, the Members of Parliament, both upper and lower chambers, the Commandant, Rwanda Defense Force, Commandant Staff College, Commandants of Sister Colleges, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Defense, Distinguished Chiefs of Training here present, Generals, members of the Diplomatic Corps, senior officers here present, University of Rwanda lecturers, distinguished invited guests, college faculty members, graduates, families, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the 12th graduation ceremony of the senior command and staff course of the Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Tanzi Mutavaruka, the master of ceremonies for this for today's event. Sir, I would like to give the highlights of today's program. Shortly, we shall have the opening of the academic congregation by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda representing the Chancellor. Thereafter, we will have the opening remarks of the Commandant of this college, which will be followed by the awarding of certificates to the graduates by the guest of honor. After that, we'll have the presentation of awards to graduates who excelled during the course and daggers to qualifying uh, directing staff by the guest of honor. This will be followed by the conferment of masters of arts degrees in security studies to the qualifying students by the vice chancellor of the University of Rwanda representing the chancellor. After that, we'll listen to the keynote address by the guest of honor, and the rest of the items will be communicated in due course. The guest of honor, sir. The senior command and staff course runs two packages at the same time. That is the military package and the postgraduate program in security studies by the University of Rwanda, which leads to the award of a master's of arts degree in security studies. On this note, with your permission, sir, I wish to invite the Vice Chancellor of the University of Rwanda to open the academic congregation. The Vice Chancellor. I, Associate Professor Kaihuram Gandidas, as representative of the Chancellor of the University of Rwanda, and so by the virtue of authority and powers vested in me, I hereby declare this congregation of the June. 2024 graduation ceremony held in Nyachinama campus open. Thank you, sir. The guest of honor, sir. Permit me to invite the commandant, to under Defense Force Commander Staff College, to give his opening remarks. The commandant, sir. The Honorable Minister of Defense of the Republic of Rwanda and the guest of honor, sir. Honorable cabinet members present, members of Senate and deputies, the Parliament of the Republic of Rwanda present. The Chief of Defense Staff, Rwanda Defense Force, the Commissioner General Rwanda Correction Service, the Acting Vice Chancellor, University of Rwanda, Excellence Ambassadors present, Service Chiefs, Rwanda Defense Force, Deputy Inspector General of Police present, 
Deputy Secretary General of NISS, members of the diplomatic corps present, commandants of our allied colleges present, generals and commissioners present, the governor of Northern Province, leaders of faith-based organizations here present, representatives of high learning institutions present, senior officers present, distinguished invited guests, graduates of senior command and staff cost of, dear families, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, good morning. On behalf of the Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College Fraternity, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of the Senior Command and Staff Course Tour of here at the Rwanda Defense Force College. Today marks a significant milestone in the career progression of our graduating officers as they have successfully completed the course and stand on the cusp of assuming greater responsibilities. We are very honored with your presence. Those who have come from within Rwanda and abroad, all are highly appreciated. Today, we celebrate the successful completion of a 46-week intensive course for the Senior Command and Staff Course in Tech Torov that commenced on 17th June of last year. The course comprises 49 officers, including 34 nationals and 15 allied students. Nationals include 32 Rwandan Defense Force and two Rwandan National Police officers, while 10 allied countries in the region include two each from Kenya, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia, and one each from Botswana, Ethiopia, Malawi, Nigeria, and Senegal. The Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College takes pride in its mission to develop a professional officer corps capable of serving national interests. With the Commander-in-Chief's guidance, the college embarked on its transformational journey into a fully-fledged smart college and center of excellence. This induced an expansion in terms of faculty and staff, infrastructure to support a blended learning environment, content, number, and diversity of trainees. Guest of honor, sir, I wish to, uh, to point out that successful conduct of this course is attributed to the faculty and staff team spirit, dedication, and unwavering support. I congratulate them for that. In particular, I wish to congratulate our allied and RDF members of faculty who have completed their second year tour of duty at the college and now deserve the Dagger Awards for your priceless service. Special thanks go to the University of Rwanda for continued academic support in offering Master of Arts in Security Studies to our graduates and the Rwanda Peace Academy in delivering the Peace Support Operations Training Package through the United Nations Institute for Training and Research Partnership. The college was also privileged to have received distinguished officials from both military and civilian institutions to share their wealth and knowledge with the graduating cohort. Delivered lectures augmented students' understanding of contemporary security challenges facing our nation and beyond. To the graduating officers, your successful completion of the course evidently proves your hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence. You have demonstrated the ability to think critically, make sound decisions, and lead effectively in complex operational environments. I would like to express our earnest gratitude to the families of the graduating class for their relentless support, understanding, 
and sacrifices that have been instrumental in the success of your spouses who are graduating today. Thank you for being the pillars of support behind our graduating officers. To all our distinguished invited guests, we are immensely grateful for honoring our invitation to bless this day with your presence. Guest of honor, sir, I profoundly appreciate the Minister of Defense and the RDF leadership for the continuous guidance and support to the college. Your unwavering support to developing the college into a fully fledged digitalized learning environment, a smart college and a center of excellence is highly appreciated. The college will continue to deliver quality education and training adaptive to the ever-changing security paradigm across the spectrum of warfare. To the grand words, as you step into your new roles with enhanced intellectual and professional capacity, remember that the knowledge and skills you have acquired during this course will be instrumental in your future endeavors. Finally, the RDF Command and Staff College is confident in the abilities of the graduating cohort as they possess the comprehensive knowledge, skills, and professional standards necessary to effectively handle any situation that may arise. Once again, congratulations. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. You are now allowed to use the symbol PSC or past staff college. May God bless you. Thank you, sir. You may be seated. The guest of honor, sir. The next item on the program is awarding of certificates to the graduates by the guest of honor. Colonel Lydia Agoneza. Lieutenant Colonel Liai Deng Anyan. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Desiree Sitsheye. Lieutenant Colonel Awigishu Asefa. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Yostash Nyansaba. Lieutenant Colonel Jerome Zengiumva. Yep. 
Lieutenant Colonel Shem Kakua Nakora. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Gasasira. Lieutenant Colonel Musseminair Kagame. Lieutenant Colonel Eddie Yula. Lieutenant Colonel Emil Shumbusho. Lieutenant Colonel Venust Muratwa. Lieutenant Colonel Jean de Dieu Gabonziza. Lieutenant Colonel Ale Zindana. Lieutenant Colonel Fataki Vizimungu. Lieutenant Colonel David Gawanziza. Lieutenant Colonel Lenny Sinadamwe. Lieutenant Colonel Jacques Piseruka. Lieutenant Colonel Gat Mwagaba. Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Simon Rock Nyagasaza.
Lieutenant Colonel Christian Mushengezi. Major Matsulale Serete. Major Tom Mwachiti Nzori. Major Emmanuel Dutaisire. Major Christophe Christian Marijani. Stop. Major Emmanuel Murinzi. Major Albert Frederick Monyo. Major Pascal Vigirindargi. Major Steve Damiano Matumbo. Stop. Major Ifantas Ipkowich Yegon. Major John Murunziza. Major Chol Henry Tong Chol. Major Joseph Sibomana. Major Joseph Mukomeza. Major 
engineer George Ogwang. Major Innocent Mumro. Major Emil Bayiringire. Major Ademola Olana. Major Elias Kavuna. Major Boaz Irahunda. Major Sam Samson Sibomana. Major Augustine Mutangana. Major Irmogen Sanzumreni. Major Aminada Murguana Shaka. Major Richard Mugisha. Commander Tule Kadim. Superintendent of Police, M.A. Wilson, Ruimbra. Superintendent of Police, Theogene Sepera, Nyanzima.
the guest of honor, sir. It, it is a tradition of this college to reward students who excelled during the course. May I request your honor to award the course best performers. The four awards are the best college research paper, the best allied student, the second overall best student, and the overall best student. Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Simon Rock Nyakasaza's paper titled Assessment of the Benefits and Dangers of Artificial Intelligence in Contemporary Warfare was judged best on the basis of its originality, merit, and contribution to, uh, towards future utilization of artificial intelligence in current and future military operations. Lieutenant Colonel Nyakasaza, please step forward and receive your award. Next is the Best Allied Student Award. The prize for the Best Allied Student is awarded to the Allied Student who is placed first in the order of merit among all Allied Students on the course. This year's prize for the Best Allied Student goes to Major Engineer George Ogwang from Uganda People's Defense Forces. Major Engineer George Ogwang is the Allied student who demonstrated the best leadership qualities in different capacities amongst his peers. He has been exemplary and a good ambassador for his country, displaying professional interest, persistent effort, and profound military knowledge. Major Ogwang, please step forward and accept your award. Next is the second overall Best Student Award. The, the prize is awarded to the student who is placed second in the order of merit on the course. This year's prize for the second overall Best Student is awarded to Major Albert Frederick Monyo from the Tanzania People's Defense Force. Major Albert Frederick Monyo is recognized for approaching everything with passion and professionalism. He is an all-round and responsive officer who displays a positive attitude combined with a sense of ownership to create a complete professional. Major Monyo, please step forward and receive your award. The guest of honor, sir. Last but not least, is the overall best student award on the course. It is awarded to the student who is placed first in the order of merit on the course. This year's prize for the overall best student is awarded to Major Ademola Oolana from the Nigeria Armed Forces. Major Ademola Olana demonstrated outstanding leadership qualities in different capacities. He manifested exceptional professional knowledge, great team spirit, and radiated confidence, which inspired his colleagues throughout the period of the course. 
Major Walana, please step forward and accept your award. Thank you, sir. Right. Sir, before you leave the podium, we wish to request your honor to award a dagger symbol to faculty staff. Deserving senior officers, please step forward for recognition. The ghost of honor, sir. A dagger is an award of recognition given to a directing staff for dedicated service in the college. At for under Defense Force Command and Staff College, one must have served a minimum of two consecutive years as a directing staff to qualify for the dagger. Sir, the faculty staff being recognized today are Colonel Silva Mutai from Rwanda Defense Force, who is unable to be with us today because of other commitments, Lieutenant Colonel Kwesi Danso from Ghana Armed Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Clever Batunzi from Rwanda Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Francis Gattare from Rwanda Defense Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Charles Mugangambungo from Rwanda Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Safari Romori from Rwanda Defense Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Jean Baptiste Wimisi from Rwanda Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Philip Murumba from Kenya Defense Forces. Wing Commander Amadu Timbila from Ghana Armed Forces. Commander James Agra from Ghana Armed Forces.
Thank you, sir. Honorable ministers, excellencies, ambassadors, and members of the diplomatic corps, the chief of defense staff, Rwanda Defense Force, the governor of Northern Province, heads of security and station of the, the representatives, service chiefs, the vice chancellor. University of Rwanda, members of parliament, the commandant, Rwanda Defense Force Command Staff College, commandant from allied countries, the faculty members, distinguished invited guests, graduates, of the Senior Command and Staff Course INTEC 12, families and friends, members of the press, or protocol observed. It is an immense honor for me once again to be part of this remarkable graduation ceremony today, representing His Excellency the President of the Republic of Rwanda and the Commander in Chief of Rwanda Defense Force. This is a moment of pride in the lives of the graduates who are, graduate, who are uh, enjoying today's ceremony. It represents a culmination of your hard work, dedication, and commitment over the past year as you successfully completed this rigorous program. I extend my sincere congratulations to each and every one of you for reaching this significant milestone in your military careers. The knowledge, skills, and expertise that you have acquired during this course will serve you well as you take on greater responsibilities and leadership roles within the armed forces. Today, we are here not only to celebrate your individual achievements, but also to recognize the collective strength and unity that this esteemed college represents. The Senior Command and Staff College has nurtured the minds of capable leaders who have been shaped and molded to face the challenges of our ever changing world. In such a constantly evolving world, with new security threats and complex global issues, the need for military leaders who comprehend the complexities and dynamics of global, regional, and domestic environments and their ramification on national security has become more crucial than ever before. Indeed, today's global and regional security landscape, in conjunction with shifting societal norms and technological advancements, compels military leaders to adeptly tailor their strategies and leadership roles to operate in this challenging environment while upholding the highest standards of professionalism and ethics. Consequently, in order to successfully confront such complex and multifaceted challenges, our armed forces need military leaders with character, creativity, critical thinking, and unwavering commitment to excellence. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in the backdrop of the changing security landscape in the present day world, the role of the armed forces has become multidimensional. It is therefore important for the armed forces to remain relevant and focused through education and training that address realities and the challenges in the operating environment and be prepared at all times for the worst case scenarios. 
Dear graduates, let this graduation mark not the end of your journey, but the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. Remember your graduation today is a call to greater duty for your respective countries. I'm confident that you have been equipped with the necessary skills and knowledge to professionally undertake your future assignments and contribute meaningfully to the defense and prosperity of your respective countries. As leaders, you must lead by example. Remember that leadership is not confined to a, a title or a rank, it is a mindset, a way of thinking, and a way of life. True leaders inspire others, build the trust, and create an environment where their teams can thrive. They possess the courage to make difficult decisions, the humility to learn from their mistakes, and the empathy to understand the needs and the concerns of those they lead. Therefore, your ability to think critically, make informed and timely decisions, and lead effectively will be essential in ensuring the defense and the security of our nations and do honor to the great name of the Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College. The world, the world looks up to you as future guardians of peace and stability. As you move forward in your careers, you will certainly face countless tests and trials. But I have faith in your abilities to overcome them and to emerge stronger. Again, the course you have just concluded has equipped you with the necessary analytical planning and communication skills to enable you make the transition from tactical to operational and strategic focus to deal with the contemporary complex security environment. Go beyond the ordinary way of doing things and have the necessary drive required to take our countries and continent to the next level. Let the friendship and the networks you have forged during your time here help you to remain engaged on issues of national and regional strategic importance. You should keep and build on these professional and personal links as they have proved to be invaluable in cementing regional and African cooperation and integration. To our friend allied officers, notwithstanding the demands of your training, I hope your stay here has been pleasant and enjoyable and you managed to get some of the time to enjoy the Rwandan hospitality. We have very warm and friendly ties with your countries, and we are hopeful that this tie has been deepened through your participation in this course. As our goodwill ambassadors, convey our greetings and good wishes to our compatriots. As you turn home, uh, Always remember that you have Rwanda as your second home. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on this note, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the Vice Chancellor, the dedicated, uh, dedicated faculty and staff of the University of Rwanda, who over the past 11 years have facilitated the award of a Master of Arts in Security Studies to eligible students who have passed through the college. My appreciation also goes to Rwanda Peace Academy for your, continue, your continued partnership and collaboration with this college. My special thanks to our allied and Rwanda Defense Force members of faculty who have completed the second year tour of duty at the college and have just, have just received the Daga Award. I commend you for your hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence. 
you played a pivotal role in shaping these officers and for that we are forever grateful. Furthermore, let me congratulate all the award winners for distinguishing themselves and more so indeed the overall best student. I would like to also congratulate the spouses of the graduating officers. You played an invaluable role in their achievements. Without your understanding and support, today's celebration would not be possible. Before I conclude my remarks, I wish to take this uh, moment to thank the Commandant and the entire college fraternity for their contribution towards making this college a center of excellence and making sure that the college continues to fulfill its mission. I also wish to express my gratitude to World Defense Force leadership for the good job work we are doing in building a strong and professional force. The ministry will continue to support your plans to improve the college in all aspects for you to remain relevant and consistent in offering the required quality training and education. Finally, my special thanks to all those who are involved in the implementation of a smart college project aimed at equipping the college with the best facilities in line with our vision of digitalizing our training and educational institutions. Once again, congratulations to our graduates. I wish you all the very best as we embark on the next chapter of our military and police careers. I thank you and may God bless you.